Hi to everyone, today we are going to install the sprinkler irrigation system for the green area. So let me show you the, the placement of sprinklers and let me discuss you and show you the hydraulics uh, as, well, as well as I will go through the area. So here you can see we have marked the area with the dashed line. So that will be the sprinkler line. And uh, as you can see that the line is going in a round shape and zigzag. So what we have done, we have um, jointed the pipes in almost straight direction so that uh, it will take time to uh, properly joint it because the cement that we are using, that is a quick drying cement. Here you can see <coughs> that we have applied here, that is the cement, quick drying cement that is. That, that takes 40 seconds to get the initial strength and uh, almost one hour to uh, sit properly normally this type of cement takes um, there are a lot of different varieties but most of the cements uh, which are the quick drying cements they will take in smaller dia let's suppose i'm talking about one inch two inch and three inch three inch uh, up to three inch dia they will take only one hour to settle properly while 4 inch dia, 6 inch dia, they will take one complete day to properly settle in settling to get the complete strength, let's say like that. So uh, we have applied here the cement and uh, hopefully it will uh, properly settle in next 30 to 20, 20, 20 to 30 minutes and then we will be able to take it and make it install it in round shape. So be careful with that so uh, because you have to uh, give it some time so that it can get the proper strength so you can see here it's completely bending all the way and you can see that we have uh, coupled that pipe that is 1.5 inch dia 50 mm and that one was 2 inch dia which is 63 mm almost so equi equivalent to 63 mm so this uh, let me show you the pipes it's class D and uh, one and a half inch and 12 bar is its operating pressure because the bursting is a, around about 18 bars and the pressure that we will have here our uh, operating pressure will be in the lines that will be around 6 bar 7 bar so <coughs> we can give up to 12 bars the pressure here so no problem to that so here you can see uh, one sprinkler was there and one was here so let me uh, discuss the hydraulics with that also. So this sprinkler where we have the flag, these sprinklers have uh, 65 feet throw. So, so 65 feet means they will cover that bunker and uh, the, this throw will go to on top of that other, the fourth sprinkler and this sprinkler will cover uh, on top of that. Uh, that mound on the on the where the flag is the the second sprinkler is and the flow of this sprinkler will be 24 uh, gallons per minute us gallons and the pressure required here will be uh, around 60 psi so um, which is uh, around about but we will give her six bars six bar is uh, 75 almost psi and uh, if we give him 75 psi then I, hopefully it will cover 68 to 69 feet even up to 70 if it, there is ideal cases and there is no wind restriction but you can see here uh, the wind pressure that how the flag is uh, waving so um, i don't think so that we will get any more than 65 because uh, this is an open area you can see it and uh, there will be water body so the every time the air will be in rushing so I don't think so that we will get uh, more coverage from these sprinklers so you can see now even the wind speed is small okay so let's uh, come back to the sprinklers so this sprinkler is a 700 series of Rainbird um, today's price is I think uh, what is the price today I think that is one hundred five hundred and eighty dollars each. So, not five hundred eighty. So it's about I think three hundred dollars US. So 
so three hundred dollars each sprinkler cost and uh, the pipe that will continue on from that it will be two inch tire which is there and the junction between that and that sprinkler which is just to overlap them that is we are using 1.5 inch tire the remaining is two inch tire so two inch tire pipe is going in this way and uh, its um, flow requirement is uh, 24 to 25 gallons per minute so here is another sprinkler this uh, at this point and uh, that will be also 700 series of rainbird and that will also take 25 gallons let's say so accumulator for these two sprinklers is 50 gallons so then we will cont continue on with two inch dia and when we reach here here we will have the main junction so there is a three inch dia pipe so three inch dia t and that will be connected direct to the main line and the wall station will be installed there somewhere and then the from the wall station to here the three inch dia pipe will came from here when we put the three inch dia t that will be reduced to two inch dia and that will be reduced to two inch dia so three inch dia pipe is coming here with the, which will give us almost 100 gallons per minute and uh, that will give us um, the capacity of two inch dia is about 65 gallons per minute so we need 50 gallons here and 50 gallons there so that is enough and uh, we will get the enough pressure and enough um, flow so flow rate is the main thing so on this side up from the main line as we go further so this is 2 inch dia pipe is going on 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 and here we have a sprinkler and that will be also 700 series and that will be taking 25 gallons per minute as we go at once so we will reach to that sprinkler so this will be the second sprinkler and uh, here we will need 25 gallons so that means 25 25 50 and 25 25 50 so 100 gallons is required so we will make it over loop it so that's why i'm not going to put an end cap here or put an end cap on that flag so i'm going to keep it continue so here i am going to install 1.5 inch tire so that we have equal pressure on both sides of the sprinklers so there two sprinklers will come around and will connect these two sprinklers and that will become a loop and we will get the better pressure otherwise there is no pro problem if you going for end cap here but make sure that you have an overloop uh, the loop system uh, that will give you a better pressure and uh, everything will be easy